Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Carl United match vlog if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you're new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's game down in the comment section down below it is the big one it's an absolute must win for us tonight 10 games to go 10 cup finals if we don't win tonight automatic promotion is definitely out of the question but I think after Saturday's draw even with a win tonight it's probably still a little bit too far out of our reach with how inconsistent we've been performing there has to be change tonight we cannot be lining up with the same team for the seventh game in a row with how tired they were on Saturday it'll be criminal if there's not three four five changes tonight it comes out the team news in about five minutes at the time of recording if I see that it's unchanged again I'll be borderline considering staying at home because Carlisle are a very very good side scored the most amount of goals in the league they're bringing over 1100 fans tonight which is you know fair play to them on a Tuesday night although a lot of them tickets were sold back in January on a Saturday it is still a very good turnout for them but let's waste no further time Time. Make sure to drop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you are new as well. I shall see you all once team news is out. Fingers crossed, it's good news. Here we have it then. Here's how we line up for tonight's match at home to Carl United. Two changes are from Saturday. Costello and Walker both out of the match day squad. Chapman and Banks both come into the starting 11 and I think it's Kelly and Pereira who find themselves on the bench. I don't hate it. Obviously it's great to see Costello not in the squad as harsh as that may sound. Chapman and Banks starting is good. It's either 4-2-3-1 with Chapman in the 10 and Gilead on the right, maybe Banks on the left or probably a 4-3-3 with Clayton Small and Gilead in the midfield which is probably I mean he doesn't really get much more defensive than that. More than likely we've set up to play for a point realistically I think we've set up to not lose the game rather than to win but I'm, overall I'm happy to see changes but I still think there should have been more in my opinion. I haven't seen the Carlisle team but I'm sure it'll be a strong one. Well Carlisle have certainly brought a fair few. Definitely not sold out though so I don't really understand why that little bit's been opened. Either way both flags are out. Come on, City, do the business tonight, please. Please do a football win. Come on. Massive contrast from Saturday. Eilish coming forward here on this near 
side for the great ball. Great round of by Stubbs. Thanks to get my clearance on it, but just really struggling to get out of our own half right now. Carlisle not really doing too much with the ball, but I just can't seem to get out and sustain some pressure. Play it puts the ball for a corner. Corner ball here for Carlisle. It'll be a right foot in from the front, but then we're looking forward to get a man around the back. pretty much the story of our season so far just didn't really create enough tonight when we did it was Andy Cook beating three four five players and creating a half chance we just didn't simply create enough like the closest we came was I think Small wins the ball back on the edge of the box plays it through to Andy Cook he gets his shot off I think it's a great half block in the end by one of the Carlisle defenders unfortunate for us it does come back off the crossbar we've seen that en enough over the last few weeks and it's really frustrating four draws in a row Carlisle they're a good side you know they're Caused us some problems while not really offering too much of a goal threat. You know, their biggest chance of the game comes in the 97th minute where Pereira just completely switches off. Ball comes to Jordan Gibson on his weaker left foot, takes a strike on, and you think 
it's, it's going to be so Bradford City if Gibson scores a 97th minute winner after the amount of stick that we're giving him and Patrick. But yeah, thankfully for our sake, it came back off the post. Another point on the board, I think the gap between us and third is now five points. It's doable, but with the form that every player apart from Andy Cook is in at the moment, it's yeah, it's, we're, we're going to need some more goals from the rest of the team, especially from defenders from set pieces, if we are going to be getting into that top three this season. I think there's like a the similar sort of a gap to us in eighth, but eighth have two games in hand, so I think it's like a I want to say it's a six, maybe a seven point gap between us and ninth. So overall, feeling bit meh after that one to be honest with you. I mentioned it quite a few times in the video, you know, the points certainly suits Carlisle much more than what it suits us and you could see that with their time wasting running the clock down. They were fairly happy for the point and it does make sense. I've also just noticed, look how red that ear is compared to that one. I'm going to leave it there though for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could turn it 150 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's draw as well down in the comment section down below for me personally my man of the match was probably Richie Small I thought he was brilliant up until what was it like the 91st minute where that corner didn't beat the first man and then he played a ball out of play but I thought Small had a really good game Clayton not great in my opinion how are they really really poor game Chapman terrible putting a Costello performance everyone else pretty average to be honest with you I feel like I've not missed anyone out there Gilead actually thought had a pretty decent game as well but thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all I don't think we've got a game now until April I think it's April Fool's Day where it's Grimsby at home so I'll see you all then peace